New information in that murder case of two Evansdale cousins. Authorities say the killer is probably someone who is local and very familiar with the area. KCCI's Laura Nichols explains the new details. Mira Cook Morrissey and Elizabeth Collins went missing two and a half years ago, but authorities are just revealing this new update now after talking with national experts. December 5th, 2012. Authorities find the bodies of 10 year old Lyric Cook Morrissey and 8 year old Elizabeth Collins inside the Seven Bridges Wildlife Area, a remote woodland in Bremer County. Fast forward two and a half years later, authorities say this area and the people who know it are a critical piece of the puzzle. We have no doubt that the person or persons responsible for this crime are familiar and very comfortable with the Seven Bridges area. Local authorities held a press conference Tuesday making this plea to the public. We want to know about anyone who is familiar with the Seven Bridges area. This renewed focus on Seven Bridges comes after authorities met with national experts in Virginia last week to discuss the case. Remember why we're doing this. We have two little girls here that will never see another Christmas. Heather Collins says it's scary to think someone in her community could be the one who killed her daughter and niece. If your your mind is wondering and you're like, oh gosh, that could be that could be our person, that could be our guy. Police say they followed up on hundreds of investigative leads, but they believe it's the public who will ultimately solve this case. We are just really just hoping and praying that if anybody saw anything that day near that area, you know, near the Seven Bridges, that they will come forward. Now, authorities wouldn't reveal a lot of details in today's press conference, like if there are any suspects, but they say the investigation is very much open and active, and there was still a $150,000 reward. Live in the studio, Laura Nichols, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.